Hello everybody, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 38 of the Dark Cloud 2 Platinum Walkthrough. We are gonna go fight Griffith. So, if you follow all my guides, got all the missable pictures and non-missable photos, some of those non-missable photos will become missable because after we beat Griffin, we are no longer able to go to the future. So, you should have every single picture except for four. One of these photos we're going to get with the boss fight. Um, one of the other ones we're going to get midway through chapter eight. And the last two are in the very last dungeon room. You're also going to want to make sure that you have the card transformation that you get with three diamonds. You can check out my video on how to get all the monster badges. There are timestamps. Next, you're going to want to make sure that you have done. If you can actually get there, that would be nice. If you're going for the Metalhead Trophy, you want to make sure that you've actually done every single metal on every single floor. So I'm just going to show you all that it's done. Just make sure that you've done the same. Take your time and check every single one. And yes, this is very time consuming. It took me like maybe seven hours, I want to say. Some fours I ended up needing to redo like three or four times each, unfortunately. But yeah, that's every single one. So we can go to the boss room because that's really it. The Finny Frenzy still happens in Chapter 8, but I recommend that you just get the master version of it done in Chapter 7, because you can also utilize the rewards that you actually get from it. So once 100% G Rom is done too, I'm not going to listen to you. <laughs> um, so capital S and lowercase i, R, U, S. That is correct. Yeah, we should probably put our normal weapon on. Oh yeah, so this is Max's weapon right here. This is his gun. They could be better. Monica's sword's very strong. In fact, it's ready to build up, but we're going to do that all in one video. And this is her armlet. All right, so what I will recommend is make sure you have everything with Monica done that you want done for now. Like if you were clearing out all the metals in the earlier chapters as well. Okay, we can't move here for me to show you, but there Monica only wipe out metals for other floors in the game. You can go back to chapter one through six but uh, you're going to lose Monica after this fight for a little while, so just be aware of that. And I don't think there's anything else to cover. We showed off the pictures, I showed you their weapons, we got all the medals in this place, and we have all the photos. So there's nothing else that's particularly missable, honestly. So, let's go and get it. Oh, there is one thing to cover. Um, so I do recommend that you uh, use the infinite money glitch so you can go buy out all of the flame and wind crystals that you could possibly use because you're going to need these for uh, making bombs to gain access to making final bombs, approved bombs, and the uh, normal bombs here. You can still buy them in Chapter 8 uh, from Rufio because I believe his inventory opens up in Chapter 8. But it's just something to be aware of and you can try it out. So just to let you know, I'm not going to personally do that, but it's something you might want to consider. All right, it's time to go fight Griffin. Go to the sun chamber.
I've been waiting for you. Griffin! It's all over for you. I hope you're ready. So, you think you can conquer me, do you? I commend you on being able to bring this palace down. But you underestimate me, and I find that most disturbing. In fact, I believe a demonstration of my true power is in order. Sinful humans, now you shall pay for your transgressions and disappear from the face of the world! It's probably the most annoying phase of the fight, but it's easy enough, I suppose. You can attack the Atlamilia with Steve, but with the Nova Cannon, I find it very hard to do so. So, I just kind of tried to avoid this guy's attack until he stops moving the Atlamilia around, and then I'll wait and take them out. It is kind of hard to hit them, and when this happens, you don't really want to get hit by it, because it deals a lot of damage. You can hop on Steve and just kind of fly around, but he's still going to get hit since he can't block. This first phase is kind of annoying, but he's very easy afterwards. And you can't really route run it, it seems. It's been a while since I've done this. But it seems like Steve is the best option for kind of getting away from that. You can buy Ride Pod fuel from Morton, by the way, just to point that out. Maybe Monica will be a little bit better for this. I, I remember doing it with Max, though. Oh, yeah, she, her attacks are homing, so she seems to be a little bit better at it. This does get a lot easier after the uh, first phase, because he's grounded and he doesn't really have these attacks. And then I can just hop on Monica and tear him up. Monica is significantly more powerful than Max is right now. Okay, there's another one down. Okay, her arm man's not even affecting Max's uh, Amelia. Maybe it's because we're too far away. Yeah. Okay, it's almost down. <laughs> Gotta get in monster form. I don't think this is a good idea. No, it's not. <laughs> Alright, back to Steve. Alright, I think we can get off now. That was actually very quick. There we go, it's just him now, and the next and this phase is done. Alexander, we have to run. Our enemies are almost here. No. You go alone, Cyrus. I'll stay behind. No, I won't do that. You'll be killed! Please, Cyrus, just do as I say. I am queen of this land. 
Whatever may happen, I must live as this country lives, and die as this country dies. That is my role. Now go, Cyrus, please. No. No! Alexandra! Remember this scene? <laughs> it's in the opening movie. There's nothing to be said. Except by me right now. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, that could have been bad. Alright. So if we just kind of get up to him, smack him around with Monica. He does oh, okay, so his last hit knocks you down. And she's dead. Okay. <laughs> Alright. And I, re I remember I used to just farm this fight. Like, I would just do like three or four times in a row. But losing like this makes it seem like I did not do that. I don't know, I really like the credits in this game because of the song. We're basically just using his sword but slightly smaller. I don't think I'm going to get out of that attack, so we'll let Steve take the damage. There we go. That's the easier one, and the next one's pretty easy too. stones together. Alexandra, you knew this would happen, didn't you? Those humans. It would be better if they never existed. If only it had been just you and me from the beginning. Those humans. Alright, so his uh, attacks will paralyze you, be aware of that, and they do go through blocking as I showed you. Uh, so you can use Heartthrob Cherry or Mighty Healing, or just get hit a second time and take big damage. <laughs> anyway... If she gets hit by that, she's dead. Alright, we're using all my cheese. I, I can't dodge that attack, so let Steve take the damage. There we go. I, I knew that would happen too, and I did it again anyway. Um... Heartthrob Cherry, and we'll let Steve take the damage. It's a very viable option. <laughs> okay. Not doing too well. Steve might go down here. No. You can't... I mean, you can use Steve and just go around here if you want to spend literally 10 hours doing this. Because Monica deals like 10 times more damage. Oh yeah, that attack doesn't knock you down. There we go.
why shouldn't I destroy the humans? Alexandra. Alexandra. What they did to you. They make war. They kill each other. They involve people who have nothing to do with them just to get the power of the stones. They don't deserve to live. It's natural that they be wiped out. I'm not the bad one. It's not me. They're to blame. I just wanted to be with you a little longer. That's all. That's all I wanted. It's true that humans have strong desires. And they often make mistakes when they try to fulfill those desires. But humans also possess something very important. I think that even you know what that is, Cyrus. You've been watching this whole time, haven't you? You've seen the boy on his journey. You realized a long time ago that you are wrong this time. The precious thing they have inside them, it's something that must not be destroyed. Something that must be passed on. Remember back, Cyrus. Remember that you have an important role in life. You must remember. Alexandra, I don't understand. I just don't understand. This be the Star of Oblivion? The moon! It's falling! Fix that little over 
aside now! Just go after him. Alright, so this is pretty much just a stretch of monsters now. Monica's basically the best against this guy. It's really easy. And then it's usually going to be best to just kind of hop on Steve and he'll kind of take us on our way. He's really fast. The buggy is faster than this, so we'll put that on. It's hard to control, but this is uh, pretty linear, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we'll eat this. This is another enemy that Monica would be good against. He's not even attacking us right off the bat too, he's making it easy for us. Yeah, <laughs> like one combo, he's done. These enemies look kind of cool, but they aren't particularly challenging, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I don't know. I find that the Dark Element fight isn't particularly hard either. I think that um, the griffin fight's a little bit harder in general. I don't think the griffin fight is like stupid easy, but it's not particularly challenging either. I mean, I wouldn't really play this game if you're looking for a super hard challenge. Its gameplay is just fun, and its story's pretty good. Monica would also be good against this guy. The hell that our kids in dreams. Black Dragon. I mean, it's a pretty cool sounding line. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly stronger than the other thing, but not much. I do like the background of this place though, I think it's pretty cool looking. The atmosphere here is nice, although I don't think it really makes sense. I mean, if this guy owns this world, why couldn't he just teleport us to some place for where uh, we couldn't, we wouldn't have the opportunity to stop him? Servant of Dreams, Uther. It's just one of those bad <laughs> those bad guy things that are better if you don't think about it too much. I'm just gonna take this guy out with Steve. It'll be easier. 
There we go. All right. <laughs> One more. And then we get to fight the boss. Almost there. <laughs> this is actually two enemies. But it's still easy enough. They look cool. Gaja in and Gaja's away. The Devil Dream Ending Swords. Max would be good against these guys with his hammer, but just in general, Monica is so much stronger than him right now. That is going to be better to just use Monica anyway. <laughs> there we go. Alright, we'll give them both a piece of premium chicken. And there isn't much point in, f in um, healing Steve. Because we're probably not going to use him in the boss fight. Other than like taking a hit or two for us. So I think it might be worth getting healing him up actually. The final stretch. Alright, let's heal him and put on our uh, other set of legs. The refuel only does half his HP at this point, unfortunately. Uh, jet hover. This control is a lot easier than the buggy, but it's slightly slower. Okay, we're gonna get on max. Make sure you equip the camera. First thing, first thing you gotta do, take a picture of the legend of the moon, and that's the that's the last photo in chapter seven. You can make some cool stuff with this too, and this is definitely one that you're gonna want to put in your album. All right, so when he's red, only Monica can attack him, and when he's blue, only Max can attack him. Okay, eat some cheese, stamina drink, and we're gonna tear him up. Or he's gonna tear us up. A little bit of both. Okay, she's dead, but he's basically dead down too. Yeah, like I can probably just finish him off with Max's gun, honestly. And he's done. 30 seconds flat. Pretty much. Alright, time for the cutscenes. inside me. Then again, 
It was probably me who created it in the first place. At last, it's all over. Uh, uh, uh. Alexandra, I remember. I remembered what I have to do. I know what was passed on to me in my memory. How to stop the Star of Oblivion. I'm the guardian of the stars. One day, there will be no need for the Star of Oblivion. And I'll be the one who disarms it. The Ancient Ones told my ancestors how to stop the Star of Oblivion. But that memory was locked away. My family has passed down that knowledge from generation to generation. One day, when humans became worthy, the Star of Oblivion was to be stopped. That is my role and my purpose. At last, that time has come. Now there is no need for the Blue Moon. Moon! You have fulfilled your purpose. Return to the dust that bore you. Alexandra, this is what you meant, isn't it? Congratulations, Cyrus. You were... you were magnificent. Alexandra. Thank you. You opened my eyes. I think... I've always been waiting for this moment. Time to say farewell. Goodbye, my friends. So, beneath it all, Cyrus was just a nice little boy with a huge responsibility. So big, he almost couldn't handle it. But now he's finally going to a place he can call home. Yeah. Thanks to Cyrus, the world can go on without being destroyed ever again. The ruler of darkness, Emperor Griffin... There never really was such a person. He was just a mass illusion created by the evil in men's hearts. Wow, that's pretty deep, Max. Kind of poetic, really. Well, <laughs> you know. We've sure been through a lot, but I guess... It's over. There's only one moon in the sky now. Yeah, and so it begins. A new era bathed in the light of a single moon. Ugh, that's laying it on a bit thick. But will people ever believe there was once two moons? They might. People can lock their special memories in their hearts. But at some point, they just forget to take them out again. This incredible adventure that we all shared, one day, it may too end up being forgotten. 
The people in the future will likely forget many things. The fact that I was here, and also that long ago, two moons shined down from the starry sky. It's time for us to say goodbye too, eh, Max? It was fun traveling with you. I won't ever forget you. And Max, you'd better not forget me either. Don't worry. I won't forget you, Monica. Or my journey. Or how we fought together. I could never forget any of that. Well, good then. I consider it a true honor to have met you, Max. That goes for me as well. Max, you were wonderful. I'm so proud of you. Mother. It's time to say goodbye, Max. Be strong, my son. I will. And I'm not going to cry. I've seen lots of tears shed lately, and it's made me a stronger person. Max, there was so much I wanted to tell you. And there was so much I wanted to hear about you. I'm so sorry. I know. I'll write you a letter, Mother. I'll put in it everything that happened on our adventure. Then I'll hide the letter right here so that it'll reach you even in the future. Mother? Yes. I look forward to that. Mother, I'm so happy that I was able to meet you. Always be good to yourself, Max. Goodbye, my heart. Mother! This journey was like some kind of dream. Castles floating in the air, moons becoming one. Yeah, just like a dream. Hmm, you're right. Your journey was just a dream. Huh? There's always been just one moon. All this may just have been a long, long dream shown to us humans by the ancients to warn us. A dream, huh? Yeah, right. Well, Mother, it turned out a little long, but this is finally the end of my letter. We really had an amazing adventure. But it was a lot of fun, too. After all, I managed to meet you and Monica. Finally, this is our true goodbye. Please, Mother, don't forget about me. Take care. I'll be here in my time, doing fine. Farewell to my future mother.
take my chances Racing time Or riding the bull For all to see On my own I can ride the winds of change So yeah, that was, uh, that's the end of the main story, really. 
But it's time to, uh, make ourselves a chapter 8 save. I'm going to hold on to my file 6 save. The story is, uh, very bittersweet. It's pretty much the only way I can describe it. Alright, so let's uh, load up our chapter 8 save, shall we? Okay then, I've got a favor to ask. I want you to go to the mine and search out some zelmite, which we need for fuel. Some zelmite? Even if we lay the tracks, we don't have enough zelmite for the train to run. I feel like somewhere in Palm Mine, there's a huge deposit waiting to be discovered. And I want you to look for it. Okay, I got it. You know the way into the mine, don't you? It's in the park. I'll have it open for you, so go and have a look. I'm counting on you, Max. Chapter 8, The Forgotten Adventure. Alrighty. Well, we don't have Monica. She is gone for now. We do get her back a little bit later. So if we go to move, we can no longer go to the Moonflower Palace or the Kazaroth Stone Hedge, and we cannot go to the future anymore. What we can do is still go to like Mount Gundor and all these places and go get those medals if you haven't gotten them all yet. I got most of them, but not all of them. Like, there's a couple floors I didn't do yet. I did everything in the Moonflower Palace, though. Um, I'm gonna show you Rufio's inventory to just show you that you can still buy the Wind Gems and Flame Crystals. His inventory should have been expanded since we're no longer able to go to the future. If we can get in here. If we can get in there. Yeah, there we go. It's always kind of hard to get up here. Throughout the game, he only sells uh, like four crystals. Now he sells all of them since it was made unavailable after the uh, future is no longer, after we're no longer able to travel to the future. Okay, so we're going to go to Palm Brinks. And we're going to go in here, because Morton's uh, inventory has opened up significantly now. Now he sells all gemstones and diamonds. And he sells almost every coin. And he still sells these materials here too. We'll buy the ride pod fuel. So that's what's changed here. If we go into the bakery. It's still just the same stuff. Now if we go on over to the weapon shop.
it's just pretty much the normal low-end stuff that they sell, that they've always sold. Well, we are going to head on over to the Zelmite Mines now. We can teleport over there right away, but I've always just kind of ran there the absolute first time we go and do it. So that's pretty much all, all it is, really. Uh, we can show our Legend of the Moon photo to Donnie as well. There's only one more scoop in the game to get. Should be right here. Yeah, so it's this right here. It's going to be a photo that you'll see once you turn in the Legend of the Moon photo. It should just tell you what it is. It's the basically the last picture in the game. And then the other two pictures are kind of useless and they're just filler. And you get them during the final boss of Chapter 8. So the Zomite Mines are right here. Yes. So this is a pretty big dungeon, and it will take you a while to get all the medals if you're going for the Metalhead Trophy. Probably about as long as the Moonflower Palace. This place is a little bit bigger than the Moonflower Palace. So yeah, that is, uh, that's pretty much it. We are going to do this dungeon, but in like the next episode. I'm pretty sure you get Monica here or here. It's one or the other. Uh, there's a little bit of dialogue there, and then nothing else really happens after that. So we are going to leave it here for this episode. I really recommend that you keep your Moonflower Palace saved just in case. So we are going to leave it here for this episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day, and we'll see you soon. Bye.